A glacier begins when snow doesn't completely melt during the summer. Each winter, new snow falls on top of the old snow. Thick layers of snow are gradually compressed into glacial ice. The glacier moves because pressure from the weight of the overlying ice causes it to deform and flow. Meltwater at the bottom of the glacier helps it to glide over the landscape. A glacier is a moving mass of snow and ice that moves downhill under the force of gravity. There are two types of glaciers, alpine glaciers and continental glaciers. Continental glaciers are giant ice sheets that spread out from a center of accumulation. Antarctica and Greenland are almost entirely covered with ice sheets that are up to 3,500 meters thick. Alpine glaciers tend to cover less area than continental glaciers. Alpine glaciers begin high up in the mountains in bowl-shaped hollows called cirques. A cirque is an amphitheater-like depression eroded into the head or side of a glacier valley. Typically, a cirque has a lip at its lower end. Alpine glaciers pluck and grind up rocks, creating distinctive U-shaped valleys and sharp mountain peaks and ridges. Horns are steep mountain peaks that form when a mountain has been surrounded by cirque glaciers. A well-known horn is the Matterhorn in Switzerland. The sharp ridges that are formed when cirques are eroded are known as rats. Truncated, that is, cut off ridges and hanging valleys form when small valley glaciers merge with a single large valley glacier. Glacial striations are scratches or gouges cut into bedrock by glacial abrasion. Glacial striations are usually multiple, straight, and parallel, representing the movement of the glacier using rock fragments and sand grains embedded in the base of the glacier as cutting tools. Large amounts of coarse gravel and boulders carried along underneath the glacier provide the abrasive power to cut trough-like glacial grooves. A crevasse is a deep crack in an ice sheet or glacier. Crevasses usually form in the top 50 meters of a glacier where the ice is brittle. Below that, a glacier is less brittle and can slide over uneven surfaces without cracking. Glaciated valleys that are flooded with seawater are called fjords. Some fjords are over one kilometer deep. Although the word fjord originates in Norway, there are many fjords in Iceland, Greenland, Alaska, British Columbia, and Chile. Glaciers carry a large amount of rock debris. A moraine is any glacial formed accumulation of unconsolidated glacial debris, that is soil and rock. Moraines are long, sharply crested ridges made up of a mixture of sand, gravel and rocks that have been deposited by a melting glacier. Moraines are usually classified according to where they originate within the glacier. Terminal, medial, and lateral moraines are a few of the many types. An outwash plain is a plain formed of glacial sediments deposited by meltwater at the terminus or end of the glacier. An outwash may attain a thickness of 100 meters at the edge of a glacier, although the thickness is usually much less. It may also extend several kilometers in length. You have been presented with some of the terms associated with alpine glaciers. Review these terms until you are familiar with them.